Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, quick, quick review for our test. Remember, tests are worth more than quizzes, so you want to make sure you know what you're doing here. All right, it is short, but you do need to know all these things. So what is this? This is my old friend, my favorite website. GeoGebra. Now this shows us that when we have two sticks, right, or two chopsticks, the two angles that are opposite are equal. Or does anybody remember the fancy geometry word? Congruent. Congruent. Good. So, and these are vertical, right? So these vertical angles are always equal to each other, or you could take the other ones. Yeah, those are always equal to each other. We have another illustration here that we use just quickly that shows us the same thing, right? 36, the ones across from each other are always equal to each other. You see it? Yeah. Importante. So that is um, vertical angles. Then we have complementary and supplementary. Yes, no, maybe so? All right, complementary adds up to 90. Complementary adds up to 90. So you see those numbers too? Yay, those numbers, yay. <laughs> Sorry. So adding up to 180 here. Do they add up to 180? Yeah. 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 Boo. <laughs> Boo. All right, they add up to 180. All right, cool. Supplementary complement. Okay, and then I, I didn't I didn't get the the thing that, that has all the triangle angles going, but that's okay. Y'all know y'all know that, right? They all add up to the straight line. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Pass, we totally know that. Bless you. All right. Uh, so this this worksheet when it makes worksheets, I don't know why it does that. It makes these extra lines. It's really really obnoxious. So I whited them out for you. I hope I'll have time before the test tomorrow. What if I don't have time before the test? Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. I don't know. It can be a little confusing. I will definitely try to do it for you all. And then on the last question, too. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on. There, come on. Come on. Come on. Dang. There we go. So this is supposed to be just lines here, not triangles. All right, got it, get it, got it. All right. You want to pick a color, by the way? Um, you, uh, this color is fine. I don't know what to choose. What? I don't know what color to choose. Anybody want to choose color? Blue. Yes. Blue. Yes. Blue first. All right, so we are intro introducing our person that is code name. That is the person's name is code name. Ready for code name? Let's hear it. Okay, code name. So we got blue. How do we do this first problem? So this is a supplementary angle, so it's 180 degrees, so, and you get the number uh, in the thing, so like it's 180 minus 141, and then you get 39. Okay, I've got to borrow uh, 39, is that correct? Mm -hmm. yep. All right, let's give her a hand. Go down. Okay, next person, oh, I don't know the code name here, is Skittles. I want Eugene. What? Eugene. What's, what, what for? Code name. Well, it well, doesn't matter. Doesn't okay. matter. All right. <laughs> All right, so Skittles. Let's hear it for Skittles. Do we already clap? I clap. All right. Okay, Skittles, pick a color, any color. Uh, red. Red, okay. Okay, how do we do this one? Um, since it's a uh, complementary, mm -hmm. uh, we subtract fifty-three from ninety, or is it the other way around? Yeah, you said it right. Subtract oh. fifty-three from ninety, and we get thirty-seven. Because we borrowed. Yeah. Thirty-seven. Yay! All right, but he he is doing another problem, right? Okay, how do we do this next one? Well, this one's pretty easy. Since it's vertical, it's B equals 82. Vertical means they are equal, so equal to 82. So it's 82. 
Got it. All right. Excellent. Number four, the the triangle is an acute triangle, and uh, it's scaling. Okay, acute triangle, because all these angles are less than 90. You see, that's the biggest one, and it's still less than the L, right? Everybody, 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 right? Multiple they have the lines. things, right. So it says one, two, and three, which means they're all different. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, next one. Oh, for number five, it's in a, it's an obtuse ang triangle. Okay, good. Now, do, where is the obtuse angle? Is it this first one, second one, or third one? Second one. Good job. Second one. He is nailing it. So this second one is our obtuse angle. If you see one obtuse angle, does that mean it's an obtuse triangle? Yeah. Yeah, because there's only one. Oh, hold on a second. Nope. It is. You can use that word in a sentence. Obtuse. That's totally obtuse. You guys should use that. Confuse your parents. When you don't understand something, say obtuse and then tell me what tell me what they say. It's a great word. O P T U S E. Okay. So Mr. A O O I didn't use code name for a second. I was gonna say so bro. Bro. Okay, what's the next name? Obtuse and also? Isosceles. Isosceles. Okay, uh oh, I need to see. Okay. Isosceles, okay. And how do you know it's isosceles? Because only two sides are equal. Because two of these are equal. It's got one, one, and two. Excellent. Okay, muy bien. Now, next one. It's a, for number six, it's a right angle. Yeah, do we see that there's the right angle here? Yeah, that's yeah. So yeah. I know. Yeah. It Every time I do the high voice now, I have to. I know she hates it. She All gave right. me the death I know, I'm sorry. Okay, so two two are the same here. So it's another isosceles. Oh, no, you said right. Oh, I'm sorry, I was jumping ahead. So it's right, and what else? It's an isosceles. isosceles. Okay, let's give him a hand. He did a lot of work. That was excellent. Okay, now by the way, these, these directions are kind of messed up a little bit because I forgot to put this question in here for number seven. So these directions up here go for number eight and nine, and then this direction here goes for number seven. Does that make sense, everybody? You probably saw that anyway, but I'm just making sure you did. Okay, so let's see. Code name, code name, code name, code name, code name. Code. Why am I not finding your code? Because you moved. Oh, your echo. The echo coming all the way from Los Angeles. Let's hear for echo. Our next guest. Much better. Okay. Oh, who's echo? Our echo. He's echo. All right, how do we do it? How do we find out this missing angle? Oops. How do we find out that missing angle? Well, so first we add. Oh wait, you want to pick a color? Dark blue. Dark blue. Oh, I changed it to purple today because somebody wanted purple, and I only have a limited number. Can I do purple? Or you want something else? Green. Green. Okay. First, you add the the two numbers that we know, so ninety five and fifty four. Okay. Th that together equals one hundred and forty nine. Now, now that we have these two together, we need to find out this one missing piece, so we... Subtract from 180. Subtract from 180. Y'all remember the straight line, right? Y'all you know, add up the straight line. Yeah, totally. I'm not going to use my whole high voice. Yeah. Yeah, totally. All right. It's a low voice. So, 10... I know, it's not Halloween, right? Okay, so what's our answer? 
Uh, 31. 31. All right. I agree. But you know what? We can check our answer on these really easily. How do we do that? Anybody know? Anybody remember? Anybody remember? Anybody Add them all remember? up together. Add what all together? That's right. Add um, 31, 95, and 54 up together. Exactly. We want to see if those three add up to 180. 180. So let's find out. 54 plus 95 plus 31. Zero, one. And then one and nine make ten, and five and three make eight. Yay! I'm so self-conscious about making that noise now. Okay, number eight. Can you can you do the um? Can you give us our equations, please? So three over thirty-six. Small shape over large shape. Three over thirty-six. And nine over x. And small shape over big shape again. Nine over x. Good. Okay, next. Um, so three goes into nine three times. So three times so three times three. Okay, so what he's doing is he's doing it the fraction way. So we're looking how many times does three go over to nine? It's how many times three what let me I need to erase this other thing that's in the way. Okay, so going from three to nine, what color is it? Orange? Okay, from three to nine is times three. So therefore thirty six times three. Right. And it's one oh eight. Now, who solved it the other way, just by, like, looking at the shapes and seeing how much bigger they are? Anybody? You did? Back there or not? Okay, so, yeah, so how do we do that? How many times bigger is it from the 3 to the 36? 12. Oh, sorry. It's 12, right? Okay, so, therefore, since this shape is 12 times bigger, we can do times 12 here. And that gives us also 108. So either way, I know I was strict with you guys. I checked all of your equations for the for the homework. Actually, I'm going to stamp it today. If we have time, we're going to stamp it. But um, but on the test, if you miss this, I'm not going to mark you off. Okay. Ready? Last one. Quick, quick, quick. Um. So this one I did f four over 32. Oopsie. 4 over 32, so that's small to big, perfect. Mm -hmm. And then x over 64. Equals x over 64. Yep, very good, and that's also small to big. All right, so how did you, and then you solved it with the fraction again? Mm -hmm. So okay. I did, um, so 32 goes into 64 two times. Right, so that's times 2. So we need times two here, so it's eight. Eight, good. And this shape on the left is how many times bigger? Eight times bigger, right? Mm -hmm. Four to thirty-two is times eight. So that means we have to divide sixty-four by eight, and we get eight. I got that got a little bit jumbled there, didn't it? So, anyways, let's see if I can do it a little less jumbled. So going from four to thirty. Let's see. Going from to 32 was times 8. So therefore, when we're going backwards, smaller, we need to divide by 8. Okay, good. Let's give him a hand. That was excellent. So, last person is the French fry! The French fry coming from where? Nebraska. Okay. So this is a hard problem. So how do you do it? I think. It's got a lot of steps there. Where do you start? Don't you do it? Yeah, you need to talk into the computer though, or I won't hear you. Please. I don't know what to do first though. Well, you just set up the tell us the equation. Thirty six equals five times one. Or wait, 36, 36 equals, equals 5x plus 1. 5x plus 1. That's right. Now, how do you know that those two things are equal? Because they're on opposite sides. Because they're on opposite sides. Which is called vertical. 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 Good. Yeah. That's perfect. So we make those things vertical equal to each other, right? And then we do superstar. Who's superstar? X. Who's co star? 5. 5. Who's extra? One. One. Okay, what do we get rid of first? Go ahead and try it. 
The one. The one. So what do we do to get rid of the one? Subtract you subtract one on both sides. Okay, good. And we get 35. And then we've got this one's gone. Okay, 5x. Last step. Can you divide? Divide by. 5. By 5. Good. <laughs> All right. So that makes 7 equal to x. All right. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. But we can check it. We should check it, right? So we can put, how do we check it when we have an equation? We take this little 7 and we put it inside here. And that way we'll, we can make sure our answer is right. So let's see. 36 should equal 5 times 7 plus 1. Does it? 35 plus 1. It does. Are we done? Bye, Jacob. Bye. Bye.